All right. So, welcome to the second podcast on Organon, and uh, this is a kind of a ongoing series that I've started to study Organon, and I hope that um, I really hope that some of you will be interested enough to to study and go in depth in your study. I always thought, you know, I kind of never really understood what what Hahnemann actually wanted to say in in his aphorism so and after practicing for last so many years now i thought that uh, let me study it back let me go back study from the basics that's my attempt so let's come we we spoke in the first podcast about uh, the first three aphorisms and we come to the fourth aphorism for today the first aphorism in organon of medicine is he is a likewise preserver of health if he knows things that derange health and cause the disease and how to remove them from persons in health is interesting he is a likewise preserver of health so now he is talking about the qualities of a physician probably probably here he is talking about the knowledge of the physician the homeopathic physician here how a homeopath should be up to date with what's happening in and around in today's times what are the things that can build immune system what are the things that can derange immune system how 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 a patient how a person can kind of avoid getting sick this is what he meant by saying a likewise preserver of health now we come to the next or one of my kind of uh, most interesting aphorism one of the most interesting aphorism that i read and um, probably i learned a little bit something new this time i read and the special thing about organon is that um, every time you read you're probably going to learn something very 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 interesting that's my attempt let's see um aphorism fifth useful to the physician in assisting him to cure are particulars of the most probable exciting cause of the acute disease as also the most significant points in the whole history of the chronic disease to enable him to discover its fundamental cause which is generally due to chronic miasm now i'm going to i'm going to go step by step word by word and see if we can understand this useful to the physician in assisting him to cure or particulars of most probable exciting cause in a in in an acute disease so here um master hanuman speaks about how for a physician um to treat an acute disease the exciting cause a causative factor is so very very important and causative factor could be anything right causative factor could be probably a physical mental in physical it could be an injury in mental it could be a strong emotional cause probably death of someone probably grief probably something else hmm? and in acute cases it's very clear you know the exciting cause is often very clear today i did a case of a of a women who was you know doing certain yoga postures and after doing lot of strange yoga postures she developed a lot of pain in the neck and uh, then she developed lot of vertigo and vertigo was you know very peculiar rise uh, when she rises from the sitting position she feels dizzy now here strong exciting factor no lot of physical strain lot of exercise stretching causes a kind of vertigo so when you see such a strong exciting factor and and in today's time you know it's crazy rains in mumbai remedy was rustox so now you see the exciting cause is so very 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 clear here however let's let's read read the forms further as also the most significant points in the whole history of chronic disease to enable him to discover see the word you know you know the beauty of hanuman probably now that i am understanding is is to see the words you know 
discover is such an interesting word you know he could have just said study but he uses the word discover the most significant points um so as also the most significant points in the whole history of chronic disease to enable him to discover its fundamental cause which is generally due to chronic myism so so here master hanman says that almost in every chronic case somewhere is the deep patterns is the deep diseased state that we need to look at and this deep diseased state is probably due to fundamental cause which is generally due to chronic myism during hanuman's time he spoke about myisms and and we are going to talk about myisms at some point in the podcast we heard the myisms that he speaks about is sora syphilis psychosis in this investigation the and now this is a very interesting line in this investigation and he uses the word investigation and investigation is just a word just a little bit more uh, broader term for case taking so in this case take so case taking is called as investigations so interesting no the more i read aphorisms now <clears throat> the more i understand these kind of words that that he has used you know probably explain it much better than we could understand it <laughs> all right so in this investigation the ascertainable ascertainable means whatever is clear ascertainable physical constitution of the patient so now master hanuman says when you are trying to find a deep remedy in a chronic case which is often due to chronic myism physical constitution of the patient is important today i saw a lady i saw her she was based from um, romania okay she had a fibroid she had a um, menstrual irregularities so on her physical constitution was she was very very tall now that was a very peculiar physical constitution very tall very lean another physical constitution could be very very obese another could be the neck is very thin so these physical constitutions are important because homeopathic remedies are also very well known for typical constitutions okay so in this investigation the ascertainable physical constitution of the patient especially when disease is chronic which means that you know physical constitution would probably be important in a chronic disease in an acute the physical constitution doesn't matter that much then he writes his moral and intellectual character the moral and intellectual character are very important now he writes moral and intellectual they are different for example orum has a very strong moral values cyclamen strong moral values silica sensitive to moral impressions skin repertory ignatia very sensitive to moral impression on the other hand lacases moral values don't matter on the other hand fluoric acid moral values what does that mean for fluoric acid so moral values you know you have to understand here intellectual character no intellectually keen which remedies are intellectually very very strong lycopodium huh? argentum nitricum silica which remedies are intellectually a little backward you know barita carbonicum carbonium sulfuricum his occupation his mode of living his habits so there's a lot of importance to mode of living and habits we choose the habits that we get into some person has a habit of always postponing typical psychotic myism trait his social domestic relation this is very important some people like to be more social some people are more unsocial unsocial is very often you know a remedy like sifilinum social is very often a remedy like phosphorus lacases so on his age sexual function are to be taken in consideration etc are to be taken in consideration this is a very very interesting aphorism tonight when you finish uh, reading uh, listening to my podcast go back see if you can read it again okay I I really I really uh, was very inspired to do cases today because I read about these aphorisms yesterday and my way of analyzing case became much more sharper today I I kind of 
you know he was very um, impressed in that way master hanuman okay let's go ahead let's go to the sixth aphorism i don't know how many aphorisms um uh, i'm going to do today but but you know my best best suggestion to you is that at least you can listen to one or two podcast every day whenever i put up because i will try to put up one or two podcast every alternate day and if you can read them i think uh, we can go in tandem and you can write to me what you learned what was interesting what was not interesting write to me you know my email id gorangg at the rate gmail.com i am always open to know from you what's happening all right aphorism 6 here he talks about the unprejudiced observer well aware of futility of transcendental speculation which can receive no confirmation from experience be his power of penetration ever so great takes note of nothing in every individual disease except the changes in health of the body and mind morbid phenomena accidents symptoms which can be received externally by means of synthesis that is to say he notices only the deviations from the former healthy state of now diseased individual which are felt by the patient himself remarked by those around him and observed by the physician all these perceptible signs represent the disease in its whole extent that is together they form the true and only conceivable portrait of disease let's let's now really and then there's a footnote too but let's try to understand this what what master hanuman says here an unprejudiced observer well aware of futility of transcendental speculations which can receive no confirmations from experience be his our power of penetration ever so great takes note of nothing in every individual disease except the changes in health of the body and mind which can be received externally by means of senses that is to say he notices only deviations from former healthy state of now diseased individual which are felt by patient himself remarked by those around him and observed by physician here your your master hanuman speaks about how it's important to be a little unprejudiced and um, it's not so very important here to just uh, make some theories about something but the best way to know and 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 and, and find a remedy is, is basically study the individual state and this can be kind of understood by by the means of senses that is deviations from only the deviations from the former healthy state of now diseased individual which are felt by patient himself remarked by those around him observed by physicians for example a person before you know about he will say i have start my problem started 2 years back and i have a headache and my headache <coughs> is for last 2 years and headache is often throbbing and it is on the temple and since the time my headache has started you know i i don't know i have become more emotional more sensitive so now this is important from the time the complaints has started how is there is a changed or the right word is deviations from former healthy state of now diseased individual this is important the word is in sixth aphorism the important word is deviation from former healthy state it's very important and all these perceptible signs represent the disease in whole extent together they form the true and only conceivable portrait of disease and then hanuman <laughs> writes something very interesting in the footnote he writes i know not how it was possible for physician at sick bed to allow themselves to suppose that without most carefully attending symptoms being guided by them in treatment they ought to seek and could discover only hidden unknown interior what there was to be cured in the disease arrogantly ludicrously pretending that they could without paying much attention to symptoms discover the alteration that had occurred in the invisible interior and set it right with under comma unknown medicine and that such a procedure this could alone be called radical and rational treatment now your hanuman is a little bit uh, questioning uh, the medicine during his time who who they were the medicines the, the the modern medicine during that time was a little strange because they would make certain theories and 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 just take the medicines without actually 
clinical verification etc so he was very often entire organ on his pointed questions towards this treatment of allopathy which uh, which during that time was really questionable so that's what uh, you need to understand and sometimes you need to also understand that he was treated very badly by them so his point of view was a little you know a little bit kind of also coming from that state probably probably but it's a very very interesting thing <coughs> so we read uh, this in the sixth part and we go to the next okay Let's go to the next. We go to the seventh aphorism. Now, as in disease from which no manifest exciting or maintaining cause has to be removed. Footnote three: We can perceive nothing but the morbid symptom. It must regard being had to possibility of miasm, and attention paid to accessory symptoms. Aphorism five. be the symptoms alone by which disease demands and points to the remedy suited to relieve it moreover the totality of symptoms of this outwardly refracted picture of internal essence of the disease that is of affection of vital force must be principal and sole means whereby disease can make known what remedy it requires the only thing that can determine the choice of the most appropriate remedy thus in word the totality of symptom must be principal indeed the only thing that physician has to take in note in every case of disease and to remove by means of his art in order that the disease shall be cured and transformed into health let's understand this aphorism step by step now as in disease from which no manifest exciting or maintaining cause has to be removed you hear in this aphorism 3 and here master hanuman speaks about how it's important to to kind of remove sometimes a maintaining cause or exciting cause or an indisposition this is one of the areas where the, where he is written about indisposition for example he will remove the room he will remove from the room strong smelling flowers which can cause syncope or hysterical suffering extract from cornea the foreign body that that excite inflammation of eyes loosen the over tight bandage on wounded limb that threaten to cause mortification and apply a more suitable one lay bare and put a ligature on wounded artery that that produces fainting endeavor to promote expulsion by vomiting of belladonna berries etc at that may have been swallowed extract foreign bodies etc 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 so so here here basically master hanuman speaks about as a physician one of the first thing is remove the maintaining cause the exciting factor and then look at the case look at the case see what are the symptoms see what is the totality and only through that totality can we possibly find a remedy that can match the totality and that can remove the disease and transform the patient back to health but it's very interesting the way he writes so i'm going to part read the second part of the aphorism again he writes we can perceive nothing but morbid symptom and symptoms only the totality of these symptoms of this outwardly reflected picture of internal essence of the disease that is of affection of vital force must be principal and sole means so what he says is that you know the outwardly reflected picture of internal essence that is the signs and symptoms only signs and symptoms you know homeopathy only signs and symptoms can help you to find the remedy and nothing else so 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 animal speaks here that for a homeopath the only most important thing is find the signs and symptoms and form the totality my friend this is what he means so this is what we ought to do interesting so i hope you understood a little bit today i we did the forisms 4 5 6 and 7 and um, the next we will start with the eighth aphorism but what i would like is when you go back and you you could probably you can just probably try to um think about uh how you can uh, 
how you can understand this aphorism is better. So go back. Once I explain you the aphorism, go back and read it again. All right. That's about it from me. Thank you. And uh, write to me how it went. <laughs>